Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariana Elizabeth and welcome to our last new class for June. By now our July calendar should be live so get ready for another new class in about 48 hours or so. Anyhow, today's class is essentially a round two of my most popular class currently on this channel, my easy morning yoga flow. This class is going to be really great for those that want a longer class, but also something that is very accessible for beginners and beginner beginners. Before we get started though, I do want to give a quick shout out to Skillshare. For sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is essentially my favorite hub for all things just learning really. I seriously love this learning community because you can take so many different classes and either learn something brand new or sharpen your skills in an area you may be well versed in. Right now you all know that I'm opening a studio and there's a ton of energy that is going into that right now. Um, even though I have an old business plan I wrote literally like a year or so ago, I just revisited it and it needs to be updated right now. Thankfully, there's a course by Robin and Jesper where they break down writing a business plan in seven steps. It's incredible. I love that he is not only extremely knowledgeable and makes it very easy to understand, but the homework given at the end comes with a business plan template. So this course is literally designed to walk you through quite literally making your entire business plan in seven steps. It's a whole yes for me. Highly, highly recommend at least checking it out. And guess what? You can for free if you are one of the first 1000 subscribers of mine to either click the link in my description box or use my code Ariana Elizabeth. If you do that, you'll get one month free to start exploring your creativity and learning today. Seriously, I hope you would take advantage of this because it's a crazy good offer and you can never stop learning. So, all right, let's go ahead and continue to today's class. So we're going to go ahead and start out in corpse pose. So just coming onto your back, almost as if we're starting in Shavasana. And just fully relaxing the body, finding a moment to just take deep breaths in through the nose here. And an open mouth exhale, release it out. Another inhale. And sigh it out. And just take a moment to really ground down into your mat, release any tension, any expectations of yourself for the next couple minutes or so. And just know that where you are right now is where you are supposed to be. Be gentle with yourself. Celebrate yourself. Another breath in. And an open mouth exhale. You can slowly bend your knees into your chest. And for a lack of better words, you're going to kind of flop your feet here. So just allow your ankles to release. And then bring the soles of the feet together and wrap your hands around your toes. You'll interlace your fingers, bring them to your toes and just relax here for a couple moments. Give your heels some time to work in closer towards the body, but also no tension, no pressure. And then you can slowly begin to straighten through the legs. You can roll your ankles here. And then bend back into the knees. And you're going to rock and roll three times until you come up to a comfortable seat. And 
And once you make your way to that comfortable seat, you can go ahead and make sure that one ankle is in front of the other. So just having a little bit of space in between your feet. Then you're gonna interlace your fingers and just roll your wrists here to one side and the other. And then bring the base of your wrist together and you're going to roll them in towards you. And now make sure you take your time here, go nice and slowly, there's literally no rush. You wanna really extend your fingers and just keep rolling in. And then take it the other way, rolling it away from you. Always making sure that those wrists stay connected. And then when you're ready, we'll go ahead and extend the left arm out, left palm comes out. We'll continue to stretch our wrist so you're going to grip onto your pinky finger and gently tug it towards you, very gently. And then your ring finger. Your middle finger. Your index finger. your thumb, and then go ahead and extend the right palm out this time, holding on to the left pinky, giving it a little tug, your ring finger, middle finger, index finger, and your thumb. Awesome job. Now go ahead and just squeeze, make some fists. So squeeze your fists real tight and open your palm. Squeeze and open. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze and open. Perfect, you can make a soft fist and roll your wrist individually. Make sure you take it both ways. And then we'll go ahead and switch legs here. So just bring the opposite leg in front for balance. And now inhale, sweep the arms up. And exhale, left arm comes down, right arm reaches up and over. Inhale, arms come back up to center. Exhale, right arm comes down, left arm reaches up and over. Inhale, arms come back up to center. And then the right arm is going to cross over the left. So bring your palms in front of you, right arm crosses over the left, and you can go ahead and pause here, take a bear hug if this feels better on your shoulders, or you can continue intertwining your arms until your left fingertips come to your right palm. If you're here in this equal bind, go ahead and lift those elbows up a little bit so that they're kind of uh, in line with your shoulders. Find an inhale here, and exhale, round it forward. And just hold here for a little bit. And then slowly reach it back up and unwind. Perfect. And now this time we'll go ahead and bring the left arm over the right or a bear hug. And then if you continued twisting and brought the palms together, you can go ahead, lift those elbows up towards your shoulders, find an inhale, and then exhale, round it forward. Thank you. 
slowly release you can bring it back up and then make your way to tabletop so your knees are going to be under your hips wrists are going to be under your shoulders go ahead and extend that right leg out and then the right arm is going to open up so you're kind of making a diagonal line with your body right now one more inhale here and then exhale the right arm is going to reach down and through that opening open back up and exhale bring it back down open back up and down beautiful that hand is going to go ahead and return to the mat and we'll go ahead and switch legs here so this time the left leg goes out inhale left arm opens up breathing here for just a moment And then find an inhale and exhale, reach it through. Open it up, reach it through. Open it up and reach it through again. Awesome, you can come back to tabletop and we'll take a few spinal rolls here. So we're gonna start with the hips back, so kind of coming to a child's pose. And then on an inhale, you're gonna round the spine forward, dropping the crown of the head. And then as you move back, the belly's going to drop and you're going to lift your gaze. So again, rolling it forward and dropping it back forward and back and then take a few of these on your own for a few seconds any organic movements that may feel good to you as well you can feel free to take that here And then as you're ready, come to a neutral spine. So coming back to that original tabletop, find an inhale and exhale, press into the palms. You're gonna float your knees, hold and breathe here. So really engage your core. You're not here long, I promise. Really pressing into the mat, pressing through your shoulders. Just a few more seconds. Awesome, don't forget to breathe and then slowly begin to walk your hands back towards your feet. You're gonna make your way to ragdoll pose. So really bending generously into those knees. You're gonna rest your torso on your thighs. Your head is gonna drop so low that you can literally look between your um, legs. So you should be able to see directly behind you. You can grab onto opposite elbows. Maybe you sway side to side. Maybe you just nod your head yes or shake it no. Feeling that release in your neck, that release in your back. Go ahead and switch your grip. So grabbing onto the opposite elbow just for balance. And then when you're ready, go ahead and release your fingertips down to the mat and inhale to extended mountain. So rolling up nice and slowly until you reach your arms up overhead. And then exhale, palms are going to face out, forward fold, hinge at the hips. Another inhale, extended mountain, sweeping the arms up. And then palms out, forward fold, fold it down. Go ahead and step your feet slightly apart here and you're gonna bend into your knees again. This time your left fingertips are going to come to the mat and then the right arm is going to open up. So a nice twist here. 
You also have the option, if you would like, you can face that right palm out and then rest it on your back or continue reaching towards your inner left thigh. So just taking a little twist, maybe a little bind. Wherever you are is completely fine though. And then as you're ready, slowly release. And you're going to bring the right fingers down to the mat and open up the left arm this time. So taking a twist, opening to the left. Again, option to stay right here or you can face that palm out and begin reaching it behind your back. It can rest on your back or you can continue reaching towards your inner right thigh. And just breathing here, noticing if you are maybe clenching your teeth together, just adding a little bit of space in between your teeth, removing your tongue from the roof of your mouth, relaxing your face, a deep breath in, and exhale, release. Alrighty, so from here, we're gonna go ahead and inhale to that extended mountain again, reaching the arms up overhead. And then we're going to quite literally dive it forward. So you're going to round through the spine like you're diving into a pool. Inhale, halfway lift. Your fingertips can either hover to the mat or you can bring them to your shins or your thighs. And just hold and breathe here just for a second. Really suck that lower belly up and in and then shift your weight forward so that you're sending more weight into your toes than your heels. If your legs are straight, you're going to start to feel it in your hamstrings a little bit more. One more breath in. And then exhale, plant your hands and step back to a high plank. Make sure your bum is nice and low here. Make sure you're pressing into the earth and then slowly lower the knees. Lift your heels up so they're going to come up towards your bum. And then your elbows are going to turn in, so you're really tucking your arms in by your side here. And you're going to take a very tiny push-up. Elbows are going to, again, stay in. And then straighten through the arms here, slightly lifting the chest. And then on your exhale, hips are going to shift back to child's pose. And take a moment here just to breathe. Come back to your center. Come back to your breath. Maybe you even rock your forehead side to side. Whatever feels good to you. And then we'll go ahead and get ready and shift back to tabletop. So coming back up to that tabletop. Find a breath in. And exhale, floating tabletop. We're going to press into the palms, lift the knees again. Slowly begin to walk your hands back towards your feet. And then inhale to an extended mountain, reaching the arms up overhead. This time on the exhale, bend into your elbows, a kind of goal post here, taking a baby cactus, lifting the chest. And then back to an extended mountain. Another baby cactus. And extended mountain. One more baby cactus. And extended mountain. Inhale here. And exhale, the quite literal, dive it forward, rounding through your spine. Inhale, halfway lift. So again, hands are going to either come to your shins, your thighs, or floating to the mat. And then plant your hands. Step back to that high plank and you can lower your knees down to the mat. Make sure you bring those elbows into your sides and find a mini push-up. So also known as your chaturanga. <laughs> and then you're gonna straighten through the arms just a little bit, lifting the chest. And then exhale, hips are going to move back to child's pose. Beautiful, let's find a breath in through the nose here. And open mouth, exhale, release any heat out. If you want to maintain your heat, go ahead and take a deep breath in, seal your lips, 
and exhale back out through your nose. Awesome, okay, let's go ahead and take it up just a tad. So we'll come back to that tabletop, find a breath in, and exhale, floating tabletop, press into the palms, float your knees. We'll go ahead and start walking the hands back to the feet, something you're familiar with still, and then inhale to that extended mountain, reaching the arms up overhead. Okay, this time palms come together, bring your hands to your heart, and begin to float your right foot. So you're coming to a one-legged mountain pose, one-legged Tadasana. You're gonna float that right leg and just hold here for about 10 seconds. Really ground down into that left big toe. So you're using your left big toe to steady you here. Remember wobbling is totally fine. And then with control, you're going to step towards the back of your mat. The edge of your foot will be parallel to the end of the mat. And once you make it here, make sure that your knee is above your ankle. If, you, if your knee is not above your ankle and it seems to be going past your ankle, then step your, your back foot uh, back some more. Open up the arms so you're coming out to a warrior two now. And just hold and breathe here for a few breaths. So really grounding into that front leg. Nice strong lunge here. And as you're ready, flip that front palm. So you're gonna flip it up and then reach up and back, reversing your warrior. So there's going to be little to no weight on the back right hand here. And instead of really arching, you're really reaching up and then back. Find one more breath in. And exhale, come back to your warrior two. So just lowering the arms. They're going to come parallel to the mat. Bring the palms back together. And then step your back foot to meet your front foot. Perfect. Awesome job. Alrighty. So let's do the other side now. Inhale, extended mountain, reaching the arms up overhead. And then exhale, hands come to your heart. All right. One legged Tadasana. So floating the left foot this time. And just hold and breathe here. Seeing if you can really use that right big toe this time to ground down and kind of steady you. Find something to gaze at that isn't moving that really helps with your balance as well. One more breath in. And then with control, you're going to step towards the back of your mat. The edge of your foot, again, will be parallel to the end of the mat. Make sure that that right knee is above the right ankle or behind it. You just want to make sure that the right knee isn't ahead of your ankle. Otherwise, you're working way harder than you need to because you're not in alignment. <laughs> All right, if you need to step back a little bit more with that left foot, be sure to do so. And then reach the arms out to warrior two. I'm just holding here for a few breaths, nice strong lunge. Flip the front palm and then reach it up and back, reversing your warrior. Really breathing into the right side body here. One more breath in. And then exhale, bring the arms parallel to the mat, back to your warrior two. Your palms are gonna come together and let's see if we can step that back foot to meet the front foot again. Perfect, awesome job, all right. This is gonna be the last time we're gonna turn it up just one more notch. I promise I know you can do it. So inhale, extended mountain, reaching the arms up high. You've been here before. And then exhale, hands come to heart center. One-legged mountain pose. So you're gonna float that right foot again. Hold and breathe here, finding your balance. I know this is familiar. You just did a second ago. And then go ahead and bring that left hand to the right knee. 
And then you're going to open up that right arm behind you. Your gaze can either stay forward or you can challenge yourself a little bit more and maybe shift it towards your back right palm. Remember, wobbling is completely and totally normal. If you fall out of it, just go ahead and come back into it. No worries at all. Be very gentle with yourself. Two more seconds and go ahead and come back to center. You're going to keep that right foot floated though. You're floating, <laughs> floated, floating. And then your palms are going to come to heart center with control. The right foot is going to step back just like we did a moment ago. So coming back to that warrior two, open the arms out, coming to your warrior two. All right, now this time, inhale, straighten the front leg, and then exhale, reach forward and down, coming to triangle pose. Your hand can come to your ankle. If that feels better than reaching for the floor, unless you have some blocks, then you can also reach for your block. Just hold here for a moment and kind of breathe into this. Your gaze can go towards the mat or it can go towards your right palm, whatever's comfortable on you. And then as you're ready, we're gonna bend into the front knee and the right hand is gonna to come to the ground as you open up the left arm to a closed twist. Again, you do have the option to bring that right hand to a block if that gives you a little bit more space or a little bit more connection, I should say. And then when you're ready, the left hand is going to come down to the mat and lift back up to your warrior two. All right, now we'll go ahead and inhale, reverse your warrior. And exhale, come back to that warrior two. Palms are gonna come together. And I think you know where we're going from here. Step that back foot to meet the front foot. Awesome job. All righty, let's do the other side now. So inhale, extended mountain. And exhale, hands come to heart. One legged Tadasana, go ahead and float the left foot this time and hold and breathe just for a moment. And then slowly with control, bring the right hand to the left knee this time. And then you can open up your left arm behind you. Again, gaze can stay forward or you can begin to shift it back towards your left palm and just hold and breathe here for a little bit. And let your body kind of explore this for a moment. And as you're ready, come back to center, still floating that left foot and then bring your palms together to your heart center with control the left foot is going to step back as you open out to a warrior two. Inhale, straighten through the front leg and exhale, reach forward and tick tock down, coming to Trikonasana Triangle Pose. Again, your hand can come to your ankle or it can come to the floor. Sometimes I bring my fingertips to the floor and open up that left arm. And just hold and breathe here for a moment. Again, gaze can go towards your left palm or towards the floor, whatever is more comfortable on your neck. One more breath. And then bend into the front knee. Left hand comes to the ground and then open up that right arm to a closed twist. Few breaths here. Remember keeping nice deep breaths in through the nose and coming out through the mouth. Your right hand is going to go ahead and make its way down to the mat and lift back up to your warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And exhale, come back to your warrior two. Palms come together and step your back foot to meet your front foot. Awesome, beautiful job, beautiful job. Alrighty, 
We'll have one other little part of this sequence and then we'll begin to wrap it up as we get ready for Shavasana. So we're gonna go ahead and inhale to chair pose. Sit nice and low, arms are gonna come up by your ears. You're gonna suck that lower belly up and in and really send the weight into your heels more than your toes. And then with control, lower all the way down to coming to a seat on your mat with your feet flat on the mat in front of you. Now your palms are going to be flat on the mat, slightly behind your hips, and bring your toes to the mat, engaging your core here. So you're kind of lifting those heels, still lifting your chest up, and maybe see if you can float your feet just a little bit higher. So maybe bringing your shins parallel to the mat. Make sure you're still lifting your chest, engaging your core. Just a little bit more for three, two, and one. Awesome, you can lower all the way down onto your back. And your right ankle is gonna come on top of your left knee as we begin to draw that left leg in towards the chest. And just take some breaths here. You wanna really get into those hips. I like to give plenty of time here because sometimes your body just needs um, time to continue unlocking and exploring a pose. So really give yourself a second here. And then we're gonna go ahead and switch sides. So bringing the left ankle on top of the right knee and then slowly drawing the right leg in. And then you can gently release that. We'll move into happy baby. So stamping your feet on the ceiling, opening the knees, bringing the knees actually towards the outer ribs. And your peace fingers can come to your big toes or your hands can come to the outer edges or inner arches of your feet, whatever you choose. Maybe you rock side to side here. And then gently bring the soles of the feet in together again, kind of ending where we started. And as you're ready, knees are gonna come in together. Hold on to your right knee and then allow your left leg to go out long on the mat. Left hand is going to come on the outer right knee and then draw your right knee over your left side body. Right arm is gonna go out long and you can gaze to the right if you want to complete the twist.
Perfect. We'll go ahead and bring your knees back in together. This time holding on to the left knee. Right leg is going to go out long onto the mat. Relax it all the way down. And then your right hand is going to come onto your outer left knee. Left arm is going to go out long and draw your right knee or your left knee over your right side body, gazing over your left shoulder to complete the twist. Alrighty, slowly release, bring both knees back in together and squeeze them nice and tight, coming into a tight little ball. One last sip of air and then open mouth, exhale, release everything out onto the mat, coming to a final Shavasana. Your arms can come by your sides or they can rest on your belly. You can relax your jaw. Make sure that you have some space in between your teeth. Make sure you, you have released your tongue from the roof of your mouth. Remove any wrinkles from in between your brows. Find another inhale in through the nose. Nice deep breath. Hold it at the top for five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, release it all out. We'll relax in Shavasana for five minutes.
All right, friends, we'll go ahead and start with a deep breath in through the nose and an open mouth exhale, releasing it out. Begin to wiggle the toes and the fingers. And if you'd like, you can roll over on either side in fetal pose, just using your bicep as a pillow. Taking a moment to pause between the practice on your mat and the practice that you incorporate into your daily lives. As you're ready, with your eyes closed or a soft gaze, you can begin to press up to a seated position, whatever is comfortable for you. And then bring the palms together to your forehead as a reminder to be very mindful of what you allow in here. Remembering that this is your control center and what you listen to really does matter. Bringing your palms to your lips as a reminder to speak kindly to others and even more importantly, speak kindly to yourself. The relationship you have with others is a reflection of the relationship that you have with yourself. And then bringing your palms to your heart as a reminder that you are loved. You are not a fluke. You are not a coincidence. You did not just appear. You were carefully crafted and intentionally created. And you are loved. You can find one more breath in through the nose. And exhale, release it all out. You can flutter your eyes open. God bless, friends. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed today's class. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Um, comment down below. Let me know what you liked or what you would like to see in the future. Um, if you would like to donate to my future studio, which I am working so diligently for, um, you can definitely donate in my GoFundMe link down below in my description box, or you can... Um, cash app or venmo me i'll have that information on the next slide as well as down below again huge thank you to skillshare i genuinely love working with skillshare skillshare genuinely has an amazing platform and i really really highly encourage you to go ahead and experience it for free for a whole month just click the link down in my description box it's i mean it's such a great offer there's really no reason not to <laughs> And um, yeah, all right. Well, I will see you in our next class starting in July. Have a blessed, blessed rest of your day. Bye.